Hello everyone, how to solve this problem for the values of x if we have three, 2 to the power of 3 minus x is equals to x minus 3 and we solve this problem for the values of x. I hope so, you like this method but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section. So here first we need uh, to uh, rewrite the left hand side and uh, for this we take common from the exponent of this term. When we will take common minus sign from here it will be written as 2 to the power of minus 1 times of x minus 3 is equals to this is our x minus 3. And now you see here both of these terms involve the uh, involved x minus 3 so uh, in order to simplify this uh, we will take here uh, y is equals to x minus 3 so when you put this value on both of the sides of the above equation so it will be written as uh, this is 2 to the power of minus times of y is equals to y so you see here this will become say exponential form into the uh, simplified form so here we uh, need to move this exponential term to the right hand side uh, for this we divide both of the sides by 2 to the power of minus y so when we divide both of the sides by 2 to the power of minus y it will be written as in this form y over 2 to the power of minus y and now in the next step uh, you see here this term is cancelled out by this term and we get here 1 is equals to here we move this uh, 2 to the power of minus y to the upsides and you know that the exponent of this term is negative when we move this to the upsides the exponent will becomes positive so you get here y times of 2 to the power of y and now here uh, in the next step uh, in order to uh, solve this problem uh, here we need uh, the Lambert W function or we use the Lambert W function here so now first we little bit explain about the Lambert W function it is stated as W of a into e to the power of a is equals to if we have this type of function and then we apply here this Lambert W function so the output of this type of function is equals to a only or in other words the exponent of e so in order to apply this lambert w function first we need to convert these two terms uh, into this form okay it means that here first we make uh, the exponential function with base e and then its exponent is multiplied by here then we apply this function and we get the output in this form so here we need to focus on this 2 to the power of y so we copy down here 2 to the power of y is written as here when we take uh, when we apply the log and anti log at the same time of this term so it will be written as e to the power of log of 2 to the power of y and here in the exponent we apply the property of log for this we move this y to the front of this log and it will be written as e to the power of y times of log 2 and now we replace this 2 to the power of y is equals to e to the power of y times of log 2 and uh, after uh, 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 after simplifying this we replace this value on this term here so that our uh, above function is written as uh, 1 is equals to this is y times of 2 to the power of y and 2 to the power of y is written as e to the power of y times of log 2. So in order to apply this Lambert W function you see here the exponent of e is multiplied by here so you see that the exponent is y times of log 2 but here we have only y term we need log 2 here so in order to make log 2 we multiplying on both of the sides by log 2 so when we multiplying by log 2 it will be written as log of 2 is equals to log of 2 times of y into e to the power of log of 2 times of y 
and now you see here the exponent of e is multiplied by here so that now we are ready to apply here this lambda w function on both of the sides so uh, we apply this w function and it will be written as w of log 2 is equals to w of y times of log 2 into e to the power of y times of log 2 and we know that the output of this type of function is equals to the exponent of e only so the exponent of e is y times of log 2 so the output of this whole function is equals to y times of log 2 and here because we uh, solve this problem for the values of y uh, for this we need to uh, remove this log 2 from here for this we divide uh, both of the sides by log of 2 in this form okay so this log 2 is cancelled out by this log 2 and we will get here our y is equals to from here we have y times of log 2 is divided by log of 2 so this is the value of y uh, which we get here but now we move backward and we substitute back the value of y is x minus 3 so we back substitute this value of y here and uh, we know that y is equals to x minus 3 equals to w time w of log 2 is divided by log of 2 so that uh, from here we move this minus 3 to the right hand side and it will be written as x is equals to this is 3 plus uh, w of log of 2 and it is divided by log of 2. So this is the our final simplified uh, form of the given uh, equation and this is our final value of x and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos